Hey friends, Skippy0330 here with you again in Awesome Alpha 20. Wow, I am enjoying this playthrough here. Now first, before we get into anything, I do want to apologize about the last video. There's some pixelization and stuff. I'm not entirely sure why that happened, but I have changed the way I rendered videos so that way uh, it doesn't mess up when it uploads to YouTube and it seemed to have worked so we shouldn't see that anymore. Thanks for hanging in there guys and still liking the video and watching the entire thing. All right, so today's plans. We are gonna go and I'm gonna do a whole ton of gathering here, get a whole ton of wood, get a whole ton of stone, get our basics together, and we're gonna start moving on with uh, moving up the trees and trying to get our forge and workbench and all that together as well. But one thing we're gonna wanna do tomorrow, uh, day four, is some more quests, because apparently after you do 10 quests, you get yourself a bicycle, and that's going to be a big deal for us, because we're going to want to go, um, I do believe, uh, south from here, or east, <laughs> that would be east, I'm not entirely sure, but we do want to hit up one of the bigger cities, now I do believe I pre-generated this map correctly on my Discord, if you guys want to check it out, uh, you, can uh, you can see the link in the top pinned comment, I usually put it there, so, anyway, moving on guys, I gotta go and do a whole bunch of grind in here, I'll see you in a bit. Out here gathering, it's 1840, it's getting close to nighttime, and it looks like I've actually come across my first wandering horde. These guys just all kind of came in a straight line at me, and there's uh, there's not too many of them. Oh wow, look at that, just uh, barely nicked that guy. Ah, oh, nice, exploded our head, so there's what, one, two, three, four... Uh, five, six of these guys. So that's not too bad of a wandering horde here early on day three. Uh, thank God, though, it doesn't have any ferals uh, like uh, we experienced the last episode. Now, I was not prepared for that at all. I <laughs> I found that incredibly funny. Oh, wait, that one there uh, is not part of the wandering horde. Okay. Cool beans. So I'm pretty much done gathering here, almost a thousand wood, 282 small stones, so that'll be enough to get us going. What I'm going to do on the overnight is actually prepare some blocks here so we can start building our horde base. Hmm, how accurate is this from here? I, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit this chicken, but you know what? We're, we're, we're going to give it a shot, pun intended. Yeah, I can't hit him from here with a handgun, that's insane. Okay, so let's go talk to Trader Joel and see what he's got for quest here for us. So he's got a nice, uh, he's got a tier 1 zombie. He's 264 meters south here that we can grab, and it's in the fast food joint. Which is cool, because we could also uh, use some food still as well. Hey guys, look at this. So I missed this, thanks for letting me know down in the comments, but the equipment rack is new as well, so we can grab... Loot from there. Didn't really get anything good, but hey, it's uh, it's something, right? We'll actually go ahead and you know what? We'll sell that right back to Joel. There you go, Joel. I'll sell you your own goods. Thanks for shopping me. Oh, well, guess I should get the heck out of there. Uh, oh, there's one more stone over here. Yeah, I'm going to spend uh, a few seconds here hitting this thing and try to get my butt back to base before nightfall. Look at that sunset once again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I love it. I can't wait to see what you guys sing to when you experience the game as well. Now, uh, most likely you are actually... Shush. Uh, most likely you've actually started playing the game by the time you're seeing this episode. So let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think. You know, improvements, uh, stuff you like, stuff you don't like. I love hearing all the feedback on it. Personally, I think it's absolutely amazing looking every single night oh that's so cool like look at the mountains they look so good in the distance so let's take a look at the new block system here so of course we have these wood frames but if we look it up here uh you have one upgrade route now by the way there's not uh, multiples so uh, you can actually make cobblestone shapes as well too so i'm assuming there is a cobblestone frame so in order to make cobblestone uh, frames we need of course ourselves some cobblestone and we dug up a whole ton of clay soil doing that um, Buried supplies quest that we don't even need to go and get any that's a that's a whole ton So I'm gonna take some of the small stones some of this clay soil and make some of that up because we're gonna use that right away For the legs of my build for the horde base. We'll talk about that in another episode Of course, uh, we'll most likely actually next episode. We'll start building it. So we'll talk about it then 
So I've gone ahead and made a chest here for all my trader stuff. That way I can keep it nice and separate and bring it over in all ro one run. So we've gotten ourselves quite a bit of meat killing all those chickens and everything last episode. And I've managed to find three eggs. So I think I can make a whopping one bacon and eggs. But at least we'll have some other meat here in the meantime while we're waiting. So last episode, since the part where I showed you guys a fire and I was like, look how nice this looks. Actually, I'm going to go F7. That actually removes your UI, guys. If you didn't know that, F7, you can get yourself some nice screenshots. Uh, but take a look at that, guys. It looks so wonderful. I absolutely love the new fi uh, campfire. Everything just feels... I kind of... I, I feel right now like I did when I first started playing the game seriously back in Alpha 13. Right? Like, I actually sat down and did a long playthrough and learned how to play the game. Other times I picked it up, I was like, this is fun, I'm going to keep an eye on it. But that's when I seriously got into it, and this is how I felt. I love it. The feeling's back. So, I desperately need water here. I only have four empty water jars, unless... Oh, wait, there might actually... Oh, there we go, we have 14 in here. One murky water, some coffee. I totally forgot there was stuff in here. I should uh, utilize this and sell that to the trader. Whoops. And then what I think I can do is just destroy that box because they are really easy to break. These things are amazing. I think they're, what, 12 or 2,000 health on them? You won't accidentally break them. Those things are awesome. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a look here. Uh, I think it's pretty safe if we look around. There is a moat right over there with a whole bunch of water in it so it's not too far and i don't really see any zombies around i do have feral scents on so that's actually a little bit of a benefit right now because if there's any zombies nearby they would actually be trying to get to me right now so i think i can feel pretty confident quickly running down there and grabbing myself some water and then we're going to be pretty set for food because i was also able to make like 25 uh, meat portions some cooked meat grilled meat i mean to say so yeah there we go okay we're safe this isn't going to kill me i don't think <laughs> unless we get a sleeper over there Ooh, that would suck all right guys well i'm going to keep plugging away at the night here oh you know what? i think it's almost time to make cobblestone frames uh let's take a look here yeah, in about 30 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and get this water going then. Oh, we have a friend! I can hear him running around. Oh, there we go. He knows I'm here. So, I guess they sense you, and maybe they come over to check it out, and then once you make some noise, they're like, there he is. Because he didn't really start reacting, or she, I don't know what zombie's down there. Didn't really start reacting until I started moving around and making myself some noise. But that's okay, we're safe up here, I think, for the time being. So let's get on to cobblestone, oops, <laughs> cobblestone frame blocks. Now, an easy way to get to stuff uh, in your recipe instead of searching, sometimes you can just go uh, recipes on the item in your inventory, and it'll bring up what you can make with that. And it's also a good way, too, if you have something new, you don't know what it is, Click on that. It'll show what you can craft with it. So let's go ahead and make up. How many of these can we make? 41. Ooh. These are, uh, these are a little bit of work. So let's go ahead here and take a look at these cobblestone uh, blocks. So we got, of course, the uh, normal block shape. Let's go. What's this here? Copy shape. Simple. Advanced on face. Oh, what's this? Copy shape. Ooh, that's a nice one. All right, so let's go into the shape system here. And uh, I was actually poking around in a little bit myself earlier, but... Oh, can you still do the, the cube frame with cobblestone? Oh, you can. So this here will, I think, serve and be as efficient. Let's let's drop that down. Okay, now can I pick this thing up? That is the, that is the question. Okay, no, you can't pick these up, it appears. Like you can uh, the normal frame, because I guess this would be counted as a full block with health, right? But since you can choose uh, your shape, I can choose to put it down like this. So you can basically build a place that's basic cobblestone blocks, but completely see-through, but still have protection. <laughs> It'd be, uh, be kind of interesting to see if the zombies can reach through this. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of content creators out there uh, testing a lot of this stuff out. And I think I'm going to be one of those this year, guys. We're going to see uh, what we can do with different uh, base designs now that we have a whole bunch of different blocks and options. Whoa, guys, check this out. 1,500 hit points on the cobblestone block. This was my next concern. Because they break down like if you place a steel block down or you upgrade it all the way to steel as soon as that block is broken It doesn't downgrade it actually just disappears completely, but they have 1500 
on this. Now, I, it's obviously not as hard because I can actually take a good, a good decent chunk out of it, but that's not bad at all. That's actually a lot more than I expected. So that actually uh, makes me feel a lot better because I was like, ooh, if they disappear right away, that's going to be pretty punishing if they had like the old stuff, right? So let's, let's give this one a little tap. Yeah, that one only has a hundred. Ooh. It's not even really worth playing around with these blocks if you can make yourself some cobblestone right away. But two, I can also understand the immense cost of building these, though. Those things are pretty damn hefty. I like it. Sweet, sweet, sweet morning. Look at that. It's four o'clock. I am raring to go, guys. We are going to go right out of the gates and head towards the uh, fast food station over there. Now, that's an older POI, but it's nice and small, and I think we can manage that actually rather quickly. I'm a big fan of these uh, new Tier 1 quests. You don't have to run eight miles just to get to the location, right? Because it's, it's all nice, small, compacted cities now. Everything makes a lot of sense. we got so much to check out and so much to loot here. It's crazy to even keep up with this stuff. All right, I'll see you guys over there. And here we are, folks. Let's go ahead start that quest and all we got to do is just clear the area which is really nice and easy now i heard tale that someone found themselves a drone in a garbage so i'm gonna be searching as much garbage as possible i don't know if it's true but i would love to confirm that by maybe possibly hopefully fingers crossed uh, actually finding one these uh commercial pois i think are your best bet because they always seem to have a lot of garbage tilling around them i mean this is true even before the apocalypse. Well, the outside's done. It is time to open up and see what's going on in here. We got one sleeper over in the corner. It's weird seeing the, the spider not be a spider this time around, but I'm a big fan of the new one. Huge fan of the new one. Okay, so we open another door here. This one's actually not too bad. They're not putting garbage right in front of the doorway, so it's a little easier to uh sneak your, your way through oh that definitely woke her up whoops hello thank you for your service frontline worker boom there we go okay well didn't look like it bode well for you guys so i will take all the things you will never need wow there's actually not too much in here this place has been stripped down pretty well uh, except for the uh, giant pile of food here on top of the oven. Apparently, people have missed that time and time again. All right, well, that was pretty simple. It's like a little canteen. It's not really too big of a place, I don't think. Oh, look at this. We actually have a back service room here, and there is a pile of garbage. So to be stealthy, I'm going to actually take that out. Now, with uh, Feral Sense, I do think the stealth build has a lot more merit uh, in Alpha 20, so I'm excited to see what people do with that, too. Oh, sounds like there's a zombie outside. It's going to know I'm in here, too, because I'm making a whole ton of noises. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, sitting on top of the ladder here. Do I see anything? Anyone? Okay, now I want to crouch through this for sure. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. Well, that's why we have a gun, folks. One, two, there we go, three and four, okay, we cleared it guys, we got it, <laughs> these tier ones are fun, they're nice and easy, I like these, you know what I mean, not to spend uh, a whole day doing them, just kind of a quick smash and grab early game, oh look at this, we got another wood crate back here and a Shamway foods box kicking around so yeah not too much loot up in this place they did if they've, they've gone had i pretty sure they redid the top of this place i'm pretty damn sure I, I, is, is that true guys have they redone the top of this place because there was uh, some pois that they haven't touched so uh, it's hard to remember every single poi so that's why it's nice having an audience i can ask you guys and find out and share the information with you too so that is that. Let's head right back and hand this quest in and grab another one. That was real quick. What time is it? 5.41? Yeah, we got that done like nothing. I want that bike. 
probably a good time as well to grab all of the loot here I have to sell to the trader and bring it to him because if we can buy ourselves some better tools I would be down for that because we haven't found any iron tools I don't believe uh, at this point other than the iron axe so if I can find a pickaxe and get rid of this stone axe here I would be a very very happy guy although uh, <laughs> although we're not able to remake our uh, repair kits yet it'd still be nice to have one because we can find them and also buy them good timing he just opened up Okay, so I'm going to dump this stuff off and grab the good stuff. See you guys over there. Well, thank you. You as well, Trader Joel. He is a uh, very, very nice gentleman. So we're going to take some more Molotov cocktails. I think these will come in handy during Horde Night. Thank God stuff doesn't light on fire in seven days to die. And let's see what else he has for jobs here. Some stuff that's nice and close. I really don't want to go to the homes. I like the commercial ones. So let's choose this one here. It's a tier one zombie, 351 meters away. Lot country, zero one. Oh, well, that's a new one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sell all this stuff here and we'll take a look at what he has uh, in his inventory. There we are. So day four here, we're at 3,752 Duke's Casino Tokens. First thing I want to see is if... Oh, he doesn't. Damn it. Okay. Uh, now, does he have repair kits? Let's take a look for those. Nothing. Nothing good for us here. Let's take a look in, then in his uh, secret stash. Uh, nothing. Okay. Oh, these are good to... Oh, wait, no, wait. We need to save these. I'm thinking we're end game here and I can just start dumping money on, on books. But yeah, he doesn't have anything good for us. I'm going to take a quick look through here and uh, pretty much confirm that. Oh, there's a workbench in here. Workbench schematic. Ooh, you know what? Bam. Let's go ahead. Buy that. Welcome back now. And that should give us the, the workbench here. Nice. So let's take a look. One workbench. Oh, nice. Okay, so we just need to get ourselves some forged iron, some more mechanical parts, wrench, and a claw hammer. All right, we can get that stuff together. Let's go ahead and uh, go find this country lot. So if we go up here, it looks like this is our country lot. So this is actually a house, right? Just on the border of all the residential. But that's okay. It doesn't look very big at all, actually. It looks like a, uh, a couple of garages. So it wouldn't even actually be technically residential. It looks like it's actually just a, a working garage where they fix stuff. Okay, what is up, sleeper, over in the corner? Oh, nope. I was supposed to hit you in the face. That one did, though. Okay, being extra careful and quiet, not at all. This is nice and out in the open. I'm not too worried we can uh, backpedal quite a bit. Let's go ahead and go in here. I know for a fact they're probably going to drop through the ceiling. I don't know that for a fact. I, I, I'm, I don't know why I chose to lie to you guys. I apologize. Boom. Just like that. Let's go ahead and take out the other one. And that could possibly possibly be uh, the last one. Is that like four zombies? It's like four zombies to kill. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Okay, so what's up here then? There's got to be a, a little bit of loot up here. Here we go. Oh, yeah, look at the loot up here. We have a working stiffs box over there. We have one of these uh, wood crates. These wood crates actually seem to give pretty damn decent loot. Let's try to get up this way. And, oh, sweet. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, but I did it. Okay, in our working stiffs box, we got steel sledgehammer parts. We could sell those. And we got duct tape. That's very useful, actually. There we go. Look at that. 80, uh, 80 coin just for those two sledgehammer parts. I'll never use them to make one, to be honest. I didn't uh, last time around, and I don't think I'm going to this time around either. Okay, so searching all those garbages and stuff doesn't really seem like there's going to be too much in this place. I'm not really missing anything here. Now, I'm thinking like Darkness Falls and stuff. I'm looking at those cardboard boxes, the piles of them, and uh, wanting to loot the damn things. Now, this is a place I would assume that there's a lot of garbage as well. So, yeah. Not really, not really turning out that way, though. Do these things still give a really good amount of wood? Eh, they're not too bad, but not really worth, I think, to stop in get those unless you really really need yourself 
some wood. Okay, I think that's pretty much all it. We got this little pile of stuff over here we can take a look at and uh, just double check that place. I don't think there is anything left in there. Dumpster? Oh yeah, there's a box right up top there. Good thing we came back to take a look. So I just assumed uh, most of those were actually no good loots. And look at this, they're being crafty. They put a pallet in front of this passing gas sealed shipping crate so you can't see it that easily. I like that though, nice little touches. Sweet, two more repair kits. We can start using iron tools here very soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I find one or we can buy one from the trader. Just say the word. Oh, thank you very much. Trader Joel is actually a really, really nice guy. So here we have an Insulated Liner Mon or a Spear Hunter Volume 3. You know, just for funsies, I'm going to take a Spear of, or a Hunter Volume 3. Nice. Oh, there we go. Tier 1 complete, guys. So we get to choose one of these. A 4? Oh, what a decision. What is this? Choose 1? Oh, I thought it was just one thing to choose from. We have a... a that's hard, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to skip the forage, guys. We'll have to try to find the book or, or unlock it, right? Because, um, like, bicycle is key early game. It's going to get me back and forth a lot faster. We also have an ammo crafting bundle, a bundle of ammo crafting recipes. We also have ranged mods bundle 01, a bundle of random ranged mods, or a scrap armor bundle. We're definitely going to go with a bike, though. But, yeah, that forage, it's so, so tempting. Nice! So there we go. We got our bike. That is pretty damn awesome. Let's see what he has for jobs here. So there's still tier one jobs. Maybe he has to reset or the next day we, we maybe see some tier two stuff. Okay, so you know what? We're going to do another easy one. We're going to do a tier one fetch 462 uh, meters oh, south. And it's going to be in the house, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and plop our brand new bike down and get on our way. Oh, this is so nice. It's so, so much quicker. And I, I like the size of the bike. Apparently, uh, for some reason, my save has reverted. Like my, my character skin has reverted uh, to the way back. Let's jump out of this here. I, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But when I first started playing Seven Days to Die online, I used to play PvP, so I made a really tiny dark character that was hard to see at night, and I would walk around and gank people. It was actually pretty funny, and for some reason that skin is back. It's um, It's been a long time since I've seen that skin, but it uh, reminds me of good old times. And we are here, so let's drop my bike off in front. There we go. And it just falls over. I hope they add a kickstand to that in motorcycles at some point. That would actually be very, very nice. Now, someone, uh, a couple people brought up, you know, why don't you loot the place first and then reset it for the quest? Um, I, I guess a lot of people are under the impression that that's efficient. Honestly, guys, there's like 200, there's just... I'm not going to say 200, but there's tons of POIs around this just general area. We're not even staying here. So looting the place once, resetting it, looting it again. Uh, it's just kind of boring and redundant to me when we have all these other places here uh, to check out. So let's go ahead. We got, uh, is it on? The, yeah, it's apparently on the ground level. So this is just a nice quick fetch quest. This should be uh, relatively easy. Famous last words. There we go. So nothing going on in this room. Laundry basket over here. I kind of like how they jam stuff up in here. Now this empty. Oh, I didn't search a laundry basket. I searched the purse. I was going to say, how is that even possible? I've never been here. All right. So let's go on to these rooms here. Bow and arrow still really good for uh, clearing these places out quietly. Uh, six meters away. Oh, there. Look at that. Just standing right in the entranceway. Being a big old dumb. <laughs> His head just popped off. Oh, I love that. That's never going to get old, I think. Almost missed these shelves up here. Didn't even see those. I'm going to have to keep an eye out now for new loot containers and stuff because uh, some stuff can hide real easily. Okay, there we go. We are apparently 8.2 meters away, so it's most likely all the way at the other end of this place here. Uh, there is a zombie right over there, but I cannot see its eyes. Oh, look, there's a pair of shoes over there. Search shoes and you get boots. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that's a boot, but 
It's pretty funny. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, then. I've woken up the house. We have one right here. And we should have one right over there. Oh, nice. I got the lucky headshot on that guy. Okay. We're good. Now, which way is this? We're 7.2 meters away. Is it... A what in the world? Must be in this bathroom. Whoa! Whoa! I should have known better. Almost walked right into him. There we go. It's maybe in this bathroom? Yeah, it's right up there. So I could have actually went around the outside of the house, I think, and uh, searched the bathroom. Or I just went right through into the bathroom and grabbed that real quickly. Oh, well. Lesson learned. Okay, we have uh, some more shoes in here. And we actually found shoes in it, so I'll accept that. All right, well, I'm going to give this little uh, place a little bit of a quick search here just to grab what we can from it. And it looks like there's a zombie actually breaking through right beside the, uh, the windows there. Oh, we have an airdrop, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to see where it landed. Let's get the heck out of here. When you need to get out quickly, but you can't remember which way you got out. Okay, so... Can we see it? Can we see it? Maybe they changed airdrops this time around? I don't know. Oh, that's unfortunate. Day four, I should have kept an ear out for it. That's okay, though. Let's hop back on my bike and get this quest handed in. So, I stopped and took a look at this uh, yesterday, but I didn't quite get this, and I'm just driving by it, and I'm looking at it, and I get the joke, guys. It's called Forever Video, and it's the old blockbuster theme. That is incredible. So, this was probably already like this before the apocalypse. Wow. Good job, uh, POI designers. That's clever. I like it. Ranger. Hey, Joel, this is number 11. Holy crap, we're flying through these. So, yeah, we're going to definitely choose the shotgun shells. Uh, here it is. Got any special jobs? Tier 2 opening trade routes. We're going to go ahead and accept that one here. And how far is that away? I, I, I should have looked at the damn direction. So it looks like, actually, we're near the edge of the map going uh, east. So most likely that's going to be west. I guess I could have looked at the compass here and it tells me in the, the direction I need to go. So we are going to be looking in a southwest direction here. How far away is this place? Hmm. Maybe it's not showing up on the map or I'm blind. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's just very, very, very tiny. So yeah, that's actually not too far away. And I'm assuming that is the next biggest town because we're in a small town right now, guys. Uh, so we'll probably build a base here for day seven, test out the old base style that I'm going to be building, and then move on to the bigger city for uh, day 14, which I think is going to be pretty damn cool. All right, so let's go ahead and accept another job. Oh, what? Oh, my God, guys. We have tier two stuff now, and we have restore power quest. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's going to be awesome. So what we'll do then, uh, we're going to be building a base next episode, but I want to do this. I want to do this. I don't have enough time. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to accept the restore power quest. Uh, country town business zero two. Uh, we have to do it at night to avoid enemy detection. You need to do this job at night to avoid enemy, enemy detection. God's be. Hmm. I don't know if that really makes any sense to me or not, but all righty then. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the map. We'll close these just for now and see which POI that is. Oh, okay. It's a POY right over here. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, no. Is it the... Oh, no. Okay, it's not. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm overwhelmed by how much there is in this game now. Uh, so it's actually the POY right beside us and one of the ones we haven't checked out yet. So that is pretty damn cool. Let's go down there and actually take a look at the lay of the place and see if we can maybe, you know, plan this out here a little bit for the night, right? Because I'm going to want to come in here and uh, reset all this. And there's going to be sleepers, I guess, on the night, too. So those ones are going to be a little more difficult. Tier 2 on day 4. Probably get our, our butts kicked. So, um, of course, I can't start that because it's not nighttime. But it looks like this is 
Just a, is this a single or a double POI I have to work with? This is definitely, I think, a double POI. I don't think these parking lots would line up that well. Although it looks amazing, guys. There's roadways, there's par proper parking lots, the buildings line up and stuff correctly. Oh, I just, I can't get enough of this at all. Okay, well, let's go in this place then and kind of check it out, see what we're expecting. This is a tier two building uh, as opposed to our tier ones that we've been going into. So yeah, look at this. Look at all this loot back here. Whoa, geez, what? Oh my God, that's a new one. Almost got me on that one. Oh, look at the Lumberjack's new skin. That is crazy. Yeah, it came out of boxes. I thought those were loot boxes. Turns out it's a damn zombie. <laughs> it just blew my mind on that one big time. All right, so we got hop seeds recipe. Probably never use it, but we'll learn it anyway. Uh, having completion is actually kind of nice sometimes. Oh, and look at that. Better club. We'll take that. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so looks like maybe the generator might be back here because we got a garage door right there. And the back of this place is sealed off pretty well too. There may be a dog spawn back there. I see a dog house and that's usually, uh, that usually indicates that, you know, you're gonna have uh, something special going on. Now this is kind of funny because I, I just said like earlier that I'm not gonna res uh, like loot uh, POIs and then reset them. But in this case, I, I think it makes a little more sense because I don't know the POI at all. And I'm going to have to come back here and do a quest at night. So we're going to have to be super, super careful and probably get killed. I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. But hey, got to do it for science, right? Oh, look at this little sneaky zombie back here behind the curtain. Oh, boy. Oh, well, that hurt. I'm going to have to make some more stone arrows soon, too. By the way, guys, while I'm looting, I just want to let you know on my Etsy store, which is uh, technically my merch, like I said, I don't really have any slogans or anything, so, oh, there's a safe behind there. Anyway, for Alpha 20, guys, what I'm going to do is, I, oh, the new conveyor belt! For Alpha 20, what I'm going to do is do a 20% off if you buy uh, one or more, or two or more items on the shop, and I do offer free shipping as well, so I think it's a decent deal. Okay, I found the generator, guys. It, it's, it's right over here. Look at this. Here's a generator. This looks like it's the electrical box for it. This is brand new too. That is so cool. So I'm assuming we'd have to turn this on. That might turn into like, uh, there might be a switch somewhere. Oh, here it is. Oh, what? Look at this guys, a POI with a working button. Oh, doesn't look, looks like it only works once. <laughs> oh no. Well, I just opened up the whole back of this place here, but uh, I guess it's a good view. And look at this conveyor belt system that they put in. It actually looks realistic now. That is so damn cool. Great job, guys. Like, I don't know if any of you ended up watching these videos or anything, but uh, great job. That's all I have to say. You guys have been fantastic at this. This is amazing. Oh, look, it's a, <laughs> it's a tiny box. A uh, tiny version of the big cardboard box. I like that. Okay. Well, we know where the generator and everything is now. Uh, and it looks like we've looted this place for anything it's got to give to us. Oh, mailboxes. Oh, these are cool and you can search them too. Oh, wow. There is so, so much new stuff. And just being able to hit zombies through open windows and, and whatnot. Like, I, I've been waiting since I started playing this game to be able to do that. It's so nice. Oh, I didn't even check these here. We got a dispenser. Uh, two dispensers right beside each other. Oh, what's this? What's this? AK-47 machine gun schematic. Ooh, nice. I'll probably find one before I make one, but I'll take it. Okay, there we go. We got the white sedan going on. What is up, lady? Were you the one making all the noise back there? Bet it was. There we go. Nothing like a power attack to take off your head. Okay, let's check out this place here next door. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to uh, touch it when we uh, do the quest next, but oh my goodness, how where can we can I get through there? No, ah, like look at this. There's even like proper doors and stuff now. 
Oh, I love it. I love this new fence and it's green. Uh, there's different colors of these fences, I guess. And it looks like uh, the proper way into the POI should be through that front door then. I'll just have to use some patience and break it down, see what's inside. Uh, nope. Nope. Nope, and these windows are all barred. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna be a tricky one, tier two, to do at night. Like, to even get into this place. Wait, can I get up there from here? No, but you know what I can do? I can make myself some ladders. Oh, okay, we gotta, we gotta test something out here. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get into this place and I'm actually kind of running out of a uh, little bit of time to record here. So I'm gonna grab some wood. Now, you can pick ladders up. So if we go and actually make a ladder, here we go, bang. Okay, so we just made a regular ladder. Uh, we're gonna place that right down on uh, the ground. And if you take a look at it, you actually can't pick it up. But someone was saying, if you make the uh, the block, here we go, we'll make the uh, frame shapes here. <laughs> I have to get used to the names. There is a ladder frame shape that you can actually pick up. So let's go to uh, shapes and you can search inside of them. What do we have here? Pla oh. Okay, so there is no ladder shape. How are people picking up ladders, guys? Am I doing something wrong here? Or is that just, you know, incorrect, incorrect news? Oh, here we go, ladder round, ladder square. Why, oh, you have to go into the proper shape category to even search it. Okay, noted. Uh, so we do have a ladder square. Let's go ahead and make one of those. And it's out of uh, OSB or Aspenite. Some people know it as Aspenite because that's a name brand. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so there are ladders you can pick up, but when you do pick them up, it turns right back into the shop or the, the block shape. Unless, of course, you probably keep one of these in your inventory. Let's make another frame. There we go. And you have one in there and it should go right back. Yeah, there we go, piled up on the other one. So yeah, there are ladders you can pick up. That is super cool. Okay, guys. Well, unfortunately, I have ran out of uh, time for this episode here today. We will be coming back with the next one. Uh, it's day going to be going into day five. And we'll be taking a look at making a basic horde base for the night. We're not going to stay on top of a POI this time. So uh, really cool stuff, guys. I'm looking forward to this playthrough. If you are, let me know by hitting the like button down below. You can share my video. And if you're looking to support me, of course, you can do Etsy. Or you guys can uh, get yourself a nice bob by becoming a member. I love seeing the bobs in the comments. It's pretty damn cool. Stay classy, everyone. And remember, back up them game saves.